the feeling is definitely there. It's a new morning in America. Fresh, vital. The old cynicism is gone. We have faith in our leaders. We're optimistic as to what becomes of it all. It really boils down to our ability to accept. We don't need pessimism. There are no limits. Let it begin. While Republican Mississippi Governor Haley Barber announced in a written statement today that he will not be a candidate for president next year, NBC's biggest embarrassment, Donald Trump, did something unprecedented in the history of network television last night. He actually used his NBC entertainment platform to open... solicit support for his campaign for president. Meatloaf, should I run for president? What you just saw was a gross violation of network standards and practices as we have known them throughout most of the history of television. Explicit NBC endorsement on a Trump campaign for president. Except it didn't. Because NBC executives know that Donald Trump's presidential posture, posturing is completely fraudulent. They know that on May 16th, they are going to announce that Donald Trump will be returning for another season in NBC's employ, pretending to fire people on TV. So don't worry. NBC has not fallen to the point where it is endorsing a presidential campaign of one of their performers who constantly spews lies and hatred of Barack Obama. NBC would never do that. As to why NBC would participate in the fraud of Donald Trump pretending to think about running for president, we should all remember most of what NBC presents in its primetime scheduling is fiction, both in com. And virtually everything about Donald Trump is fiction. But Trump got some surprising support yesterday from a man who the media normally presents as a bastion of integrity. Trump endorser, the Reverend Franklin Graham. Thank you for joining us tonight, Reverend. Well, Lawrence, it's good to be with you. And um, first, you know, I want people to know that uh, I am a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want me people everywhere to know not about Donald Trump, but I want them to know about God's son who came to this earth to take our sins and died on a cross who rose again. I want you to know that and every viewer to know that God loves them. Well, you got very, very close to endorsing a presidential candidate yesterday on ABC. You've never endorsed a presidential candidate before. Uh, what made you come so close for Donald Trump? Well, you know, Lawrence, I, I answer reporters' questions uh, like I'm answering your questions, and, and maybe you could give me some advice. Uh, I would I advise, you, as as I, I I would advise you if a reporter asks you uh, no, if you're going to support for president, you say, uh, no, I don't discuss that. Uh, no, I, well, first of all, That's if he was vetted, uh, and, and if he's a, if he's the nomination for the party, I certainly would be interested in him. Uh, there, there's a long way to go, and I haven't endorsed him, and, I, and I'm not going to endorse any candidate. But I find that he's got some interesting things to say, and you have to say to yourself sometimes, you know, maybe a guy like this is right for our country. We need somebody with a lot of business experience to get us out of the mess that the Republicans and the Democrats have got us into. So, uh, uh, yes, we need some help, but more importantly, we need God's help in this, in this whole process. We need God. Uh, to give us a leader who can take this nation and put it back on the road, uh, a, a leader who will, who will, I believe, who will take this nation back to the road of integrity and prosperity, and we need somebody like a Donald Trump. I don't know if he's the man, but uh, somebody like that with his experience. Have you ever voted for a Democrat for president? Uh, no, I've never voted for a Democrat for president, but I have voted here in North Carolina. 
on the state level uh, for uh, Democrats. We've got some wonderful people in this state. And uh, maybe a good uh, Democrat will come down the road who can, can lead this nation out of the problems we're in. I certainly would uh, vote for him or her if they had that ability to, to lead us once again to a nation of prosperity. Okay, but in a lifetime of voting, there's never been a Democrat you voted for. I want to go to something you said on ABC yesterday that has attracted all the attention uh, in this news cycle and why you're here tonight. Let's listen to what you said on ABC yesterday. So, so, Reverend Graham, the president telling you he's a Christian isn't good enough for you. I suppose that anyone telling you is they're a Christian is not good enough for you because of the definition that you just laid out there. Because uh, no, you, you, no, you no, can't look not, into the truth. You don't well, accept that the no, president any, is a Christian person, based on what you said yesterday on ABC. Absolutely, I accept that. No, but he has he has said that uh, to me, he, to, to me personally. But you and don't I believe that, and and I'm not. Well, no, but I've had some conversations with him on on the things. It's not that I don't believe him. Only God knows those things, Lawrence. So I, only I'm God not his knows. Judge. Only God, God is knows his judge. who the only God knows who the Christians are, and saying you're a Christian is not good enough for you, right? No, no. You're, put, you're trying to put words in my mouth, Lawrence. That's not, that's not correct. I'm just saying nobody knows a man's heart except God. And he knows your heart. He knows my heart. All right. And I'm not going to judge whether he's a Christian or not right. a Christian. So that's when not you my look position. Out, I never you, have judged it. When you look out at your congregation, when you're preaching, you see hundreds of people out there, sometimes thousands in big stadiums. Uh, you don't know. Because you don't know what's in their heart. You don't know if they're just, if they're there thinking about That's maybe right. becoming a Christian, maybe not. So as far as you know, the only person you know is a Christian is you. in your heart you don't know if anyone else is a Christian uh, only God knows a person's heart but okay. when I get up and preach I, when I you preach get... the gospel okay. that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shouldn't perish but have everlasting life that's what I do uh, I, uh, there's there's power in that message and God takes that message and drives it into a human heart supernaturally Reverend Graham you said uh, uncontested on ABC yesterday at what we just heard you say for me the definition of a Christian is whether we have given our life sure. to Christ and are following him in faith and we sure. have trusted him as our Lord and Savior listen to Jesus yes. I want you yes. to listen to what you know is Jesus Christ definition of a Christian. Jesus Christ said, any of you who does not give up everything he has cannot be my disciple. Have you given up everything you have to be a disciple of Christ? I have uh, given my life to Christ when I was, uh, I was 22 years old. I got on my knees one night and I just asked God to forgive me of my sins. And that night I told God that I believed that Jesus Christ was his son, that he died for me on Calvary's cross and that God raised him to life. And I asked Christ to come into my heart. And when I gave Christ my life, I meant it. And I said, you can take my life, you can spend it however you want to spend me. My life is yours. And uh, it, it's the greatest decision I ever made. And Lawrence, he can do the same for you or anybody who's watching this television. God loves us, and he wants us to be saved from hell. And, and that's, listen, there is a hell, and, and that there's a punishment for those that reject God and his salvation, Jesus Christ. And for me as a minister, the most important thing is not about who's going to be president or who, who is trying to run for president. The most important thing is that has a person 
ready to stand before Almighty God? Are they ready to have uh, that, that time face to face with God and answer to Him? Because God's going to ask you, what did you do about my son? I sent my son to take your sins. Did you accept him or did you reject him? Reverend, Reverend Franklin Graham, we are out of time. You have once again convinced me <laughs> that you are a Christian just as Barack Obama has convinced me that he is a Christian. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you. God bless you.